Uh, like snow. What's up everyone, I'm John Caveman, and in this video, just a little bit of a life update. Recently I posted a video talking about all these mods that I ordered for the Tahoe that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, shortly after that I posted a video about the engine bay under hood upgrade that I did, and I haven't posted anything since. So <laughs> I still have all of those mods just waiting for the Tahoe, waiting to be installed. I have not installed them yet. Um, but the reason that it's been so long since my last video and um, the reason I haven't gotten to those mods yet is because honestly, I'm a bit erratic. <laughs> I just, it's been cold here in Jersey. As I mentioned, it's actually snowing right now. And I just, man, I don't like the cold. The older I get, the less I like it. I mean, I like skiing and stuff, but this has been slushy cold, not ski weather. So I went out and I bought an RV and I did some uh, some mods to the RV. I updated some things, updated the TVs, some other things, and then I jumped in it and I headed south. And I drove from New Jersey all the way down to South Florida, back up to Ocala, Florida, where I spent two weeks at an RV park. I set the RV up for working. I'm a software engineer and I work remotely, so I, I set up a workstation in the RV. Uh, I got a mobile hotspot and also Starlink satellite internet. So I just spent a couple weeks working down there. Uh, and then I flew back to New Jersey, which is where I am right now. My, I'm here for a couple of weeks. My wife is about to go to India where she'll be for a month. In about a, actually one week from today, I'm flying back to Florida and I will be picking up a 2021 Yamaha TW200, a T-Dub. People in the T-Dub club will know what I'm talking about. And I am heading to Lake Pleasant, Arizona to do some adventure moto, adventure biking. So that's what's up. I'm super excited about this bike, bike I'm about to buy. It's slightly used. It's got about 500 miles on it. It's already been modded out. I've got a hitch rack on the back of the RV where I'll be able to load this bike up. Um, and I'm just gonna go do some adventure biking in the warm weather. So Tahoe mods are still coming. Um, I'm gonna wait until it gets a little warmer here where I can work in the garage without being miserable. And actually, um, I'm planning on spending a lot of time on the road in this motorhome. I'm actually going to drive it uh, up to Alaska this summer. I, I actually have a couple of tattoo appointments with a really sought after tattoo artist up there who books eight months in advance. And I have four days scheduled with her spread out over the course of a month. And I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna get a, a sleeve, a full sleeve on one of my arms. So uh, lots of stuff coming up for the, for the RV. And actually I want to set it up to flat toe the Tahoe on the back of the RV. Uh, in case you don't know, flat tow, also known as dinghy towing, is where you tow a vehicle with all four wheels on the ground. You don't use a dolly or a trailer or anything. So my goal is to like bring the Tahoe with me on these adventures. Um, but for now, it's just me in the motorhome with this motorcycle on the back. So um, I'm gonna document my trip. I'm going to, this as soon as I fly down to Florida, a uh, one week from today, uh, I'm gonna document when I pick up the RV. It's at my parents' house right now. And then I'll head to Mobile, Alabama, where I'm gonna buy this uh, Yamaha TW200. I'll document that, and then I'm gonna head west. I've got this uh, strategy going right now where I can actually work and travel at the same time without taking time off of work. I basically get up at like five, six in the morning, drive for three hours, pull over at a rest stop or a truck stop, and then work an entire eight hours inside the RV. Then I drive another three hours, and then I stop at a rest stop or a truck stop or somewhere and I sleep over the night and then I get up the next day and I do it again. And at that rate, I can travel about 300 miles a day, about 500 miles on a weekend. So that's about 15, if I were to do it seven days, that would be about 2,500 miles a week um, without taking time off of work. So it worked really well going down to Florida. That's the same strategy I'm gonna use going out to Arizona. Uh, so I will be hitting the road one week from today. So uh, yeah, that, this is just an update. This is what's been going on. Like I said, I'll. I've got several Tahoe projects happening right now, but um, they're kind of on pause at the moment. So um, I'll create a playlist specific to that RV stuff and the TW stuff. So um, when that's up, feel free to subscribe directly to that. If you're just a Tahoe fan and you don't care about this other stuff, then you know you just don't have to subscribe to that playlist. But please give me feedback. If you like this stuff I'm doing, it'll uh, let me know that I should do more of it and it'll help me like pick what direction to take the channel because I've always got a million things going on. And if you tell me what you want to see, that'll help me know what to make videos about. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.